problem that I have with sales funnels is the lack of transparency in most of them. You might have experienced it when you've signed up for a free webinar and then afterwards you start getting the series of emails trying to get you to buy more, right? That's what a sales funnel is. It's a carefully designed process where the marketer is trying to control the process of you buying the next thing or the next thing or the next thing. Um, as I describe it that way, as I expose what it really is, we can all feel from the consumer standpoint, from the side of the person in the sales funnel, that it doesn't feel right. Um, it feels too controlling. And we didn't sign up for it. We didn't sign up for these series of emails trying to sell us stuff, right? And so that's my encouragement to you is to make your marketing as human and as organic as possible. So for example, I have two separate email newsletters. One is where people get my free content on a regular basis. And in fact, in that content newsletter, they, they select whether they want to hear from me once a week or once a month. So there's an agreed upon frequency of contact. And then I have a separate email newsletter where people specifically uh, know that they're getting my announcements about my upcoming workshops and if I have any room for my coaching or if I'm launching a new book. And I, I make it clear to people, okay, you're gonna get about three to four emails a month. And I even give them a link to see what the recent emails have been for them to decide whether they wanna sign up. So I think when it comes to authentic marketing, well, it's about being authentic. It's about being transparent with what our intentions are and how they're going to experience it. So I hope this is helpful. As always, I'll put more um, insights uh, into the notes of this video. But that's my encouragement to you today is to think about how you can make your marketing more authentic, more transparent, so that the, the end user feels that, ah, this is what I expected. Because that's and better than I expected. Because that's really what they want. That's really what we want as consumers of marketing. Until the next video, I wish you well. And I, wish you, I hope that this is helpful for you to um, have the confidence to market authentic.